Hi everybody and welcome to day 23 of 30 inks 30 days April 2021. Uh, here is our ink for yesterday, uh, Birmingham Pen Company Twilight. I don't know why it's called Twilight, um, but this is a really nice ink. Um, it was very saturated, it was really nice to write with. Um, it looks almost purple on um, this Cosmo Air Light paper but it was a little bit redder on Tomoe River, especially like when I flip back and look at like, for instance, um, uh, Sailor Manio Akebi, which I thought this might be close to. Uh, this was much, much redder than Akebi was. Uh, so yeah, it was a really, really nice ink. I think, for instance, my partner mentioned that there was a grayness to it. And I think you can see that something on here. Um, and the dark, the dark uh, colors are very, at least on this color, on the splats, are very flat. A little bit almost grainy. Like, compare that to, um, like, a cabbie. Uh, it has a very interesting, uh, it's almost like a textured kind of, kind of quality to that. I don't know what it is about the ink, about their formulations, but uh, that is that. Now, today's ink, uh, as you can see from the title, uh, oh, that's interesting. It really bled through, uh, like heavily bled through. Um, that's interesting. Um, so uh, today's ink, as you can see, is uh, Alternator Crimson. This is, uh, I believe, I don't know if it's a new formula or if it's whatever, but, uh, uh, so this is Alternator Crimson. However, I did come up with a tragedy, and the tragedy was I spilt my vial all over my desk and myself. Uh, so if you can hear the washing machine, that is the washing machine doing its best to erase that from those clothes. Uh, and, uh... I believe I have more alternator crimson on my fingers than I was able to get into a pin. Uh, I didn't have enough really to fill a pen. I did dip the uh, nib in there to sort of soak up some stuff, so hopefully that will be enough for my purposes today. Um, but that is what we have going for us now. Now I need... So I was going to say that I needed to go get my switch because I didn't have it at the ready. So I'm just going to edit that in here. This one, our monster is going to be this boy. His name is Royal Ludroth. Uh, he is like a big old lizard, except that he has like a giant spongy frill on his neck. Uh, goodbye, this version of Meryl. We will see another version of you in a moment. All right, so moment of truth. Hopefully I have enough here to do this writing sample. So it's like a, like a very dark, like a uh, gray, uh, it's really, it's, it's really nice. Um, there's sort of like some warm undertones to it. 30 inks, 30 days. April, what did I say today was? The 23rd? My ink accident has really flustered me. Our ink is Birmingham Pen Company. Terminator Crimson. Uh, and yeah, it's a very warm gray. Like the undertone to it, it's a confusing name because it has the word, it has literally the color crimson in its name, but it's not crimson. But it is, like, the undertones do have just a very slight 
it's a warmness to them. I wouldn't even say it's a really a redness. Um, but then again, I'm going from just uh, a nib. However, judging from everything that spilled all over myself and my desk, yeah, it's not crimson. It's not a red. Our pen is the Twisby Go with a medium nib. And because of this Cosmo Air Light paper, it does look like a broad. Monster is Royal Ludroth. <clears throat> so, uh, larger. Uh, so Royal Ludroth are larger than regular Ludroth Royal Ludroth use their sponge like main to absorb water and keep from drying out on land Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, like, it's it's hard to describe. Like, this, the shading, the lighter parts of the shading are not crimson. They're not red. But they are warm. It's an interesting color. Once the sponge... loses moisture sorry it's not in frame they will seek out water <laughs> the battle for the windowsill continues uh, they will battle, uh, they will seek out water to recover. They also spew mucus to trip up their in case you were feeling too good or you were feeling too bad about the royal ludroth and you're like oh they're just spongy boys soaking up water now they also spit mucus at you so that's gross right okay so uh, at least this writing sample is good i don't have enough to do splats um which is fortunate because like what the heck is that i'm curious if the uh, arugula did that uh, a little bit, not to really, not to that degree. Um, all right. So, uh, let's go to, straight to the Inky Cat, and then my partner's thoughts. Uh, let me zoom out just a little. All right. So our Inky Cat, which is, again, apparently all ten days might just be a study of my cat Meryl. Uh... <laughs> this is Meryl chasing a sandwich uh, because she dearly, dearly loves the idea of human food. So, uh, my partner's thoughts. Uh, uh, she says that it's confusing. Uh, it's almost black, uh, but as she printed, she could uh, see undertones of brown, which refused to pull out. As soon as the water dried, it returned to black or gray. Uh, she was expecting a black cherry, but got a warm black without much red. Uh, so that is what she says about Alternator Crimson. 
And yeah, so that is day 23. Tomorrow will be day 24, and I'll try and not spill my ink everywhere. Um, and now I'm going to go uh, get do some deep cleaning. <laughs> all right. So I will see you all tomorrow for day 24. Hope you have a good day. All right. Bye, y'all.